Hello, in this video we're going to be converting our YOLO v4 tiny model into an NCNN model to be able to run that on our Android device. So in this video we're just going to be converting it from a .weights file to a NCNN model. So this model will be a, uh, it'll be faster and lighter and easier to run on a mobile device. So once you've trained, uh, once you've finished training your model, you'll be able to find it in your backup folder in here and this will be the dot weights and to find your configuration will be in your CFG and in the CFG it's going to be called custom yolo v4 tiny detector dot CFG and that's our configuration file so we're just gonna download both of these so you just click on the three dots and press download and then it'll go to your downloads folder and you would do the same for the tiny uh, detector and this will be the configuration so now I've already done this and it's going to be in my downloads folder and I just move them into this uh, folder in here so we're going to copy both of these files so just right click and you're gonna copy both of them and in the description below I'm gonna be leaving um, the part of the repository that you're going to need with all the code so that you can convert the file the dot weights and dot configuration file into a dot bin and dot param so that's the um, format for the ncnn model so if you download this whole repo you would need to go to tools and darknet and you would need these files over here but i just made it ready um uh, the i've just made a ready folder and I'm going to uh, put the Google Drive link in the description below where you can just download that ready folder, folder with all the necessary files that you would need. So you wouldn't need to go to the GitHub repo. But if you wanted the original one, I'll leave a link for this as well. So now once you have downloaded the repo, or not the repo, the file that I've left in the description below, it's going to look like it's going to be called darknet that's going to be name of the folder and this is what it's going to have inside it so we're going to have a executable we're going to have two of them we're going to have a darknet to ncnn executable and ncnn optimized so both of these um one of them the darknet to ncnn this one will convert your files and the optimize will make it more efficient and better and give you a higher fps or better accuracy so now once we copied the other files, we want to paste them in here and they're going to be called custom mule before tiny detector and custom mule before tiny detector underscore best dot weights. So we want to rename both of these to just YOLO v4 dash tiny. Same with here. YOLO v4 dash tiny. All right. And now once we have both of these, we can click up here and type in cmd all right so now once we're in here we're going to copy the command line which i'll also leave in the description so basically we're going to be running the executable and we're going to take both of these files and turn them into a param and slot and the bin so we're going to paste it in here and it should give you this output like this it should be almost something like this all right so now if we go back to our folders we can see that we have a dot param and dot weights. So now you could leave it like this, but it, right now it's better to optimize this. And our next line would be this. So we're gonna take the bin and param and make them into optimized. So we can go back to CMD, paste it in, and there we go, we're done. So now we should have an opt and a parameter bin and they both have a dash opt stating that they're both optimized so we can copy these now and we'll create a folder new folder and we call this yolo v4 tiny optimized model so now we have we can save everything in here and everything will be safe so in the next video we're going to be using both of these um, we're going to be using the model and we're going to putting it into android studio so that we can use it for our mobile application so with the project it usually comes with 
um, so the pre-trained YOLO v4 models and they just converted that into an NCNN we want to use our own custom ones so we're going to insert these uh, files instead so in the next video we'll be doing that and I'll show you how you can test it on your device and we'll be showing some results alright that's pretty much it for this video make sure to like and subscribe and thanks for watching